Now in this video we're going to take a quick look at the basic Zener diode uh, voltage fragment. That's usually when you have a resistor to the positive supply and then the Zener diode reverse bias headed to the negative supply. So it is not intended to stop current while well, it's reverse bias. It has a Zener voltage which is a voltage that it will conduct while it is reversed bias. And the Zener diode can safely conduct while reverse bias. A lot of uh, diodes cannot. So in any case, you want to keep current limited. Um, the amount of current does adjust this value a little bit. Um, but for the most part, you get uh, close to this voltage built up across the Zener diode right there. So if you measure the voltage or send it to like an op amp input or something, or in some cases to a bipolar junction transistor, after uh, you get to uh, 3.3 uh, volts approximately here, that's as much voltage is going to build up here. The circuit's just going to see that 3.3 uh, volts as long as it doesn't draw a lot of current. And uh, it's uh, going to hold even if you raise like the supply voltage or whatever. In this case, you could lower the supply voltage quite a bit. Um, it will just barely affect the voltage here. It'll be pretty close to the same. And then you could just grab a 5.1 volt uh, zero doubt. So the numbers are really small on there. I'm not going to show it, um, but you can read it on there if you have a uh, loop like this. And uh, so again, we're not going to do that in this video though. But here we have the same thing. We got about 5.1 volts that's going to come out regardless of the supply voltage, as long as the supply voltage is high enough above the Zener voltage. So probably like a couple of volts um, if you're using a 1K resistor. And the best demonstration for this, because uh, generally you don't want to draw any current, draw as little as possible, the uh, multimeter actually does that. Uh, practically draws no current. Make sure the red probe's in the right spot. It is for this meter. It only has one setting and only one probe spot for when you measure voltage. Let's try to get that focus again. So we can measure the uh, rail voltage here, the voltage across both of these circuits here, and uh, it's just a tad bit below 12 volts. Here is the 3.3 uh, volt uh, Zener diode. You can see that it is a little bit higher than 3.3 uh, volts. So we could raise the value of this resistor that's limiting the current uh, through it. Um, a bit more that would drop it down to 3.3 uh, and then we got this one up here it is a 5.1 volt Zener diode so uh, we're pretty close there but if we want it closer to 5.1 volts we could use a, a bit uh, lower value resistor there to get a little more current uh, flowing through it and that'll raise it up a little bit so you can fine tune it a little bit with how much current is flowing through it but for the most part it's uh, really close to its Zener voltage Make sure when you're done uh, using the multimeter that it's not set to measure current for one thing if there's a power button, but otherwise if there's an off button, turn it to off. 